I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And here it is, a week has rolled by. Last week we had such a wonderful time with Easter Sunday. And now we're going to be thinking about the risen Christ and some of the instructions he gives us and some of the things that he's asking us to do. And uh, so we just rejoice that we can have a wonderful Savior and walk with him all the way until we get to glory. And won't that be something then? Well, Jesus talks about trusting him in Matthew chapter 6. And we want to start with the 25th verse. Jesus says, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not much better than they? Which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father know that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought of the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. We're going to pray, and in our prayer, we're going to pray for South Korea today. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for being such a great God, and thank you for this passage where you assure us that you're going to take care of us. And, oh, God, we just pray that we'll lean, lean upon you and not doubt. Never, oh, help us never to question you. We may not understand everything that's happening and everything that's taking place, but yet we can know that you are God, you are sovereign, you know all things, and you work all things out that so that they work together for good to those who love the Lord. And so we love you, Jesus. Help us to love you more and trust you more. And in our prayer today, we want to pray for our brothers and sisters in South Korea. And they're going through some hard times now, Lord, all over the world. Your people are suffering. Oh, how it must grieve the heart, your heart, oh God, to see your people hurting like that. And how it must grieve the Lord Jesus because it's his body that they're tormenting in this earth. It's the body of Christ and he's touched by our infirmities. And so, oh, he must agonize when he sees how the, the devil works through people and mistreated your people. And so we pray for the people, especially our brothers and sisters in South Korea, for the day so all over the world we're praying for South Korea and that they'll be encouraged and they'll be strong and they'll stand true to the end and that oh God you use them to your honor and your glory and someday when the work is all done and time is no more and your son comes and that we'll put an end to all of these things and we'll be in glory with you forever and won't that be something we're anxious for that day and that hour. So we love you, dear Lord. We trust you with all our heart. In Jesus' name, amen.